Alright guys, so I'm in the middle of editing, it's the day after I recorded and I've noticed that throughout this video a couple of times it the video kind of freezes for some reason and then you've just got to throw it away Then again, what can you do? Okay. So I'm really sorry but you're just going to have to deal with this So I've been sat here for an hour trying to think of what video to make um, I spent about 20 minutes trying to think of a video idea in the first place and then I spent uh, 25 minutes around that uh, folding this for a tutorial and then I decided that it wasn't good enough. I honestly put like quite a lot of effort into folding this and then I go to edit it and look through, find out it's terrible, I, I cut it out. Struggles of being a YouTuber, you know you've got to deal with this stuff, you think that something's good and then it's not and then you've just got to throw it away. Then again, what can you do? What can you do? I don't feel like I have enough effort and time and motivation to make a proper video. It's bonfire night so me mum and brother are out so I thought I could make loads of videos, have loads of time editing and uploading throughout the week but I haven't, I just haven't got that surge of energy at the moment to make videos especially when it's a perfect time to do so which is super annoying. I'm actually having a YouTuber's block. I might improve the lighting here actually. There you go. There you go. Does that look better? I was thinking of making a kind of series like how to eat. Honestly, those fireworks exploding in the sky might... I just want to go up to every single person who owns a firework right now and is setting one up and just stab them. Th th that might have been a bit violent. YouTube, don't take my ads away. Uh, I haven't been able to think of a video for the past week or so. I was thinking of making an origami one for the past few days and then I thought, eh, too boring, you know. But then today I sat down made one and it was too boring. So um, I was thinking, I I've got this really well edited, or really perfected kind of vlog edit kind of thing that's coming up. It's on the way, I'm like in the middle of editing it, so that's coming. But apart from that, like right now I don't have any current video ideas, which is again super annoying. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but it is, and oh, I'm just having a mental breakdown. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know what videos to make. Um, I was considering making a sort of how to YouTube kind of series, which is basically teaching young YouTubers how to do certain stuff like make thumbnails and record and edit and upload properly, use the right tags, blah blah blah. So I was thinking of a series on that. I was thinking about doing some tech reviews, like comparing phones, comparing certain gadgets, you know. But, you know, I just don't have the effort right now. Holding the camera. <laughs> Chucking it around, hand to hand, don't know what I'm doing. I've just done my history homework, literally, that's not my history homework. I've literally done my history homework like an hour ago, two hours ago maybe, I don't know. Literally done an essay, done from there, down here, all the way there. And now I just don't feel like doing absolutely anything, just to drop me pen, go on brilliantly. Probably gonna have to blur out my teacher's name from that book. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh god. Join me, Sukono, having a mental breakdown. When I spend those 20 minutes trying to think of video ideas, I actually asked my mates on Snapchat and they gave us some pretty interesting ones, so let us just read them out for your entertainment. So I said, I've literally been sat here for 20 minutes trying to think of a video to make. I said that at 20 past 7, it's now 20 to 9. So you can tell I've been very bored. One about how fireworks are annoying or about how you're spiraling into depression, or how you listen to no music, why s it sucks. Probably gonna have to blur out that because it's my school's name. I already got excluded once for mentioning the school in the video, so you know. Why do I want to convert? Why am I spiraling into depression? How I became poor? How mine and Daniel's relationship split? <laughs> YouTubers I hate? Why people should just accept the fact that I'm spiraling into depression instead of being sensitive? Why I'm a Muslim? I'm getting married in two months. <laughs> Exposing s yeah, that's all the suggestions there. Uh, let's see what they're talking about. Oh, drama. Oh, it's drama. Why is there so much drama these days? Like, kids getting worked up about and out. You know, you've got a teenager who's like, Oh my god, my life is so difficult. Oh my god, I feel like... I, I feel like nobody understands what I'm going through. Oh my god, I've had to struggle through so much in life. Oh my god, I can't handle this. It's so, so dramatic. I, I, I just can't handle this. And then you've got kids in Africa that might be slightly racially insensitive, but how it's me, I'm always racially insensitive. So you've got kids in Bangladesh and Africa who've got no food and stuff and they're like, I love my life! Because, you know, they've got their family and then you've got bratty little teenagers. You've got bratty teenagers who are disrespectful and just ungrateful for everything. They're like, my life is so difficult. I broke a nail yesterday. Seriously, how can you get worked up about something so little as a nail or like breaking up with your boyfriend or something or just like having a fallout or ha an argument like 
No one cares. There's bigger stuff to worry about right now. There's wars going on. There's famine. There's poverty and everything. There's people trying to come up with scientific breakthroughs. There's people on their deathbeds, you know? And then there's you complaining about a broken nail. Oh my god, this gets me so worked up and angry. Like, how can you be so insensitive and ungrateful and just care about your own problems? Honestly, it makes me so mad. Sexual harassment has been a really big thing on the news lately. You know, there have been all these allegations and accusations like Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, all these people have been accused of sexual harassment or rape and stuff, and it's really serious. And then you've got people who are just like, this random man came up and touched me on the shoulder. I, I, was, I was sexually harassed. I was sexually harassed because this man, this man came up and accidentally touched my shoulder. Obviously sexual harassment and rape are very significant issues in today's society. Like seen as gender equality has like changed a lot and then you've got different sexualities and different genders and all this sort of stuff. Because you know in the olden days, well I say olden days, around Victorian times or maybe Edwardian times, early 1900s, sexual harassment was just like classed as women being weaker or like less intellectual and men just being more controlling and dominant and then just being able to rape whoever they want which was an absolutely disgusting and horrible society. I pray for like all of those women who were like abused and everything in those times and that was just absolutely horrible. Horrible, but this is just going on the other side of the spectrum instead of no one caring about sexual harassment They might care about it like too much. They might take it out of context If like a man touches a woman's shoulder to comfort them that might be sexual harassment I don't know people are just like taking this way out of proportion So yeah, that's a little rant that I wanted to go on. Sorry about that But I just want to say some stuff, you know, no fancy editing, no graphics, no because you don't need the best editing to be a YouTuber, you don't need the best equipment or anything. I'm currently holding a second-hand tripod and a Logitech webcam. And for me, I don't really care about that, it's just the essence of doing YouTube, you know. You just pick up a camera, talk, exactly as I'm doing now, nothing fancy about it. I've been rambling on for quite a bit now. I don't exactly know where this video's going. So yeah, this has just been me talking about stuff. Anything else I want to talk about? Oh, the value of education in our society. I really want to talk about that. I just feel like people don't value education nearly as much as they did 10 or 15 years ago. When I was growing up, there was no... I feel like a 9 year old. When I was growing up, there was no cars or anything. I had to walk everywhere. I had to have a hip replacement when I was 25. And you've all got your fancy little cars and scooters. It's ridiculous. Yeah, like... So yeah, I, I really don't want to sound like that. But when I was a kid, I didn't have a TV or iPad or phone or tablet or anything like that. Uh, the first phone I got, it actually was a Nokia brick. Like, obviously it wasn't called a Nokia brick. But it was like a really small, like simple, Nokia with a keypad and that. So yeah, and that was the first one I ever owned. I didn't really even own it. I just like messed around on it sometimes whenever it was lying around. Technology really wasn't a massive part of me growing up. It was more books and studying because education is something that my parents value a lot. Cleaners, they came from Bangladesh, which is quite a poor country and there isn't a lot of education facilities and services available there. My mom was very segregated in terms of her gender, so she couldn't learn a lot in terms of that. So yeah, my mom and dad didn't have the best life in Bangladesh because of the facilities there and how socially and economically deprived it is. But I'm still proud to be Bangladeshi because my family is from there and I have heritage, so I'm proud to be Bangladeshi, but my family did struggle a lot in terms of education while I've got all my white friends like you know my dad's got a degree in this my mom's got a degree in that and I'm just like yeah well mine know how to cook an awesome curry so there you go but yeah so that is why my parents really value education which is why they want me to do well and like go to university and that want me and my brother to succeed and do well in life and do stuff that they could never imagine or dream of doing which is something that I really value in education and I feel like that's been lost in Britain white people in general they I don't think they value education nearly as much as Southeast Asian people do. And at this time you might be reminiscing of the stereotype that all Asians are smart. That is true to an extent, but parents have come from that socially and economically deprived area and they want their kids to do really well, which is why they push their kids to do well in education. And in Britain, less people are concerned about education and more people are concerned about like going to clubs and that. And, you know, we've got people getting drunk and stabbing people with knives when they're like 13. So that was a rant about education. Oh, another thing. So I found out that there is a word for realizing that other people around you have lives just as complex as yours and this is so interesting to me i don't know why I, I should be a psychologist oh my god so yeah i don't know why oh snapchat people are going crazy well not really because it's just like two people and two people on snapchat to me is like oh my god i'm the social highlight of the party I accidentally washed my hair with mom's false tan moisturizer thinking it was shampoo ben is such an idiot you know that lad who i made that video with about uh, the mini golf thing 
accidentally wash my hair with Matt's false tan moisturiser thinking it was shampoo. God's sake. Such an idiot. Why is Ben such an idiot? That's 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 what my title should be. Anyways, but yeah, like if I'm walking down the street and see like an elderly man, I might think, oh, he's fought in a war or like he's lost a family member or he's done something of international pride or he's like written a book or something interesting like that. And I've got no clue about it. I might pass 200 or 300 people walking down the street and I might just like never get to know what amazing and interesting things have happened in their lives that I'd like really want to know. Otherwise, like there could be an elderly woman who's got an incredible story to her life but I'd never know because to me she's just you know another person walking around doing her shopping so that's something really interesting that I've thought of the other thing was oh I've forgotten what the other thing was anyways I'll come back to it if I remember it but oh someone else Elon Musk right if you don't know who Elon Musk is he's this really cool um I don't know if you can call him a ph philanthropist I think he is yeah he's a philanthropist and scientist well I don't know if he's a scientist either Mm. He's a rich dude who knows a lot about space and science. Uh, he made uh, Tesla, the car company, and SpaceX, which is doing uh, space exploration stuff to like Mars and that. And it's really interesting. And he's got a theory that we all live in a simulation, like it's a simulated world, because in the future we would have developed so much, like we, we would have developed like computers and that so much that we will be able to create a very, very lifelike simulation of the past, which is what we're living in now, which is very interesting. Oh, something else that I've considered. I'm just like spilling out all my thoughts and feelings here like this is is brilliant it's like a free therapy session but with a camera okay if you ever need a therapy session just pick up a camera and talk to it you don't need to spend like two thousand quid on a on a therapist just pick up a camera and talk to it and all your thoughts will just be whoosh, gone with the wind um what was i going to talk about oh man oh man i've lost it damn it oh well i honestly think that this might i might upload this because i might like actually turn this into a series because i really like it i really enjoy just like spilling out my thoughts and talking about stuff i don't know what like i've never tried this before i've never tried just holding a camera and talking just like spilling my heart out i've never tried this and i actually really like it yeah this has actually been like quite fun and enjoyable to just talk about stuff um i don't care if people watch it or not it's just me talking about random stuff on YouTube. Today, right, today I've literally watched all of Stranger Things series 2 apart from the last episode. I had in my mind, like, if I finish my history homework, I can watch the final episode. So I did, and then I was thinking, oh, I might upload a video actually, and completely forgot about Stranger Things. Erin uh, said that I'm gonna die, apparently, because it's that good, or I'm gonna lose my mind. Erin's actually the one who recommended Stranger Things for us, actually. And yeah, it's, it's actually really good. Uh, what else can I talk about? <laughs> oh, I was talking about technology, wasn't I? That's what I was going to talk about. I've just remembered. After all that time, I've remembered. Uh, I was going to talk about technology. We're like developing and growing as society changes into more advanced technology, which I think is really cool, but also degrading from the classic traditional standard education that like loads of old people had and they're like oh back in my day this 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 so yeah i think we're taking away from the traditional education like maths english science history geography you know all that traditional education like solid foundation you've got to learn this you've got to learn that and moving towards a more flexible a more you know modern a more niche kind of type of learning and education which is a lot more dependent on how society is moving because society is growing at a massive rate, a massive rate. Uh, the iPhone was first introduced in 2007 which had incredible mind-blowing features like you can swipe, wow! Before you had to like use a keypad and now you can swipe, that's amazing. And 10 years on we've got like Face ID, Touch ID, we've got robots who are semi-conscious and it's incredible how much technology has changed over the past 5, 10, even 50 years. And it's actually really, really mind-blowing to think how we've come from little transistors and pieces of metal and learning how to, you know, use binary code, like, on and off, to having supercomputers and terabytes and pentabytes and all of this and massive amounts of data. And, like, a kid being able to pick up a phone and Google anything they want and being able to access the World Wide Web and having an IP address where they can access the internet and learn absolutely anything they want. It's an incredible time to be alive right now. It's incredible in terms of technology what's going on in the world.
I think that if religion wasn't taught in the early ages and you were introduced to it much later when you had actually had the responsibility of figuring out which religion you wanted to follow then it would be a way better system because then kids wouldn't like grow up being like oh well I don't know I don't know why I'm a Muslim I, I was just like grown up taught it like I, I don't really know like what values there are to it. Religion is a very big part of society. It's sometimes the only thing that people have where, where they're in desperate hope and in need and like or like on their deathbeds. Religion is the only thing that has a rational explanation for the world as it stands because science isn't there yet. The Big Bang Theory is just a theory. We don't actually know anything about how it was created. Everything's just a theory. And religion is one of the bridges between our world and hope, a faith, basically something up there that's controlling everything. So religion is very big in our society. And I don't know why I keep doing this, like this philosophical thinking pose, like, hmm, hmm, very smart, I'm very smart, yeah. Yeah, I really often think about these issues. And seeing it on camera is like a sort of stress reliever. Like. People have fidget spinners and fidget cubes. I have a camera to talk to. So I think I should start rounding this video off now, uh, ending it. Um, I really want to make more of these. Even if this never gets uploaded to YouTube, I want to have this on my PC. So when I'm like 40 or 50, I can look back and think, oh, what a young, what a young fellow I was making videos on my camera, saying my thoughts, so this is how I felt, blah, blah, blah. So I want this to be like a sort of memory for like when I look back at stuff. And uh, yeah, I feel really good about this video. Like this has literally just been me talking to a camera for ages. I don't even know. Again, I've said this loads, but I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this. Um, this is really just like me talking to myself. That's essentially what YouTube is. I've j I've just realised this incredibly profound revelation has come across me that YouTube is basically you talking to yourself. Isn't that the first sign of madness? On that notion, on that idea, I'm gonna leave you there. So. It's actually been really fun and interesting talking about this stuff and I really want to do it in the future as well, loads. Usually I'm very socially awkward and I don't like talking, especially to people. I don't like people in general. I just don't like talking to people. But you won't get that unless you're an introvert like me who just likes to sit inside reading books and that. So being able to talk about this stuff to a camera is actually really good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it I think. Anyways, that is it. See you later.